and liftoff. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Looks like NASA is hoping for a very big Christmas present. They are planning to launch the world's biggest, most powerful space telescope on Christmas Day. Imagine a world orbiting a distant star, an Earth-sized planet that could harbor life. Proxima b, located in the Alpha Centauri star system, has captured the imagination of scientists, astronomers, and space enthusiasts alike. Could we one day visit this mysterious exoplanet? And what about the groundbreaking technologies that might make such a journey, or detailed observation, possible? Today we're diving into NASA's evolving plans, the incredible advancements in space telescopes, and whether a mission to Proxima b is science fiction, or science fact. But while Proxima b sounds like a dream destination, the challenges of getting there are immense. Let's break it down. First, there's the sheer distance. At 424 light years, even the fastest spacecraft we've ever built would take tens of thousands of years to reach Proxima b. For context, the Voyager 1 probe, traveling at around 38,000 miles per hour, would take over 70,000 years to make the journey. And then there's the issue of communication. A message sent to Proxima b would take over four years to arrive and another four years for a reply to get back. This time, delay makes real-time mission control impossible. Finally, we have the problem of energy. To send a spacecraft across interstellar distances, we'd need propulsion systems far more advanced than anything currently available. Could breakthroughs like solar sails or nuclear propulsion be the answer? Only time will tell. While a physical journey to Proxima b might be out of reach for now, NASA and other space agencies are developing incredible technologies to study exoplanets from afar. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, has revolutionized our ability to observe distant worlds. With its powerful infrared instruments, it can analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets, looking for signs of water, methane, oxygen, and even potential biosignatures of life. But NASA isn't stopping there. Future missions like Louvoir, the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, aim to directly image exoplanets in stunning detail. Imagine being able to see continents, oceans, or even clouds on a planet like Proxima b. And then there's the concept of the Extreme Large Telescope, a hypothetical space observatory that could dwarf even the James Webb in size and capability. Such a telescope could unlock unprecedented insights into exoplanets, their atmospheres, and their potential to support life. The Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, currently under construction in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile, represents a significant leap forward in ground-based astronomy. With its 39-meter primary mirror, the ELT will collect more light than any other telescope, making it an invaluable tool for studying faint objects like exoplanets. Among its suite of instruments, the high angular resolution, monolithic optical, and near-infrared. Integral field spectrograph, Harmony, is of particular interest for exoplanet research. Harmony is designed to capture high-resolution spectra, allowing astronomers to analyze the light from distant stars and planets in unprecedented detail. By combining high-resolution spectroscopy with adaptive optics, Harmony can correct for atmospheric distortions, producing crisp images and detailed spectral data. This capability is essential for isolating the light of Proxima b and studying its atmosphere. Detecting biosignatures, molecules that may indicate the presence of life, such as oxygen, methane, or water vapor, requires both high sensitivity and high resolution. The light from Proxima b must first be separated from the overwhelming glare of Proxima Centauri. This is typically achieved using a coronagraph, an instrument that blocks out the light from the star to reveal the faint glow of the planet. Harmony's design includes such a masking mechanism known as the focal plane mask, FPM. In the study by Vaughn et al., 2024, the researchers simulated observations of Proxima b using Harmony's current configuration. They found that the mask was too large to isolate the light from the planet effectively. Most of the planet's light was blocked, making it impossible to gather the high-resolution data needed to detect biosignatures. This result highlights a fundamental trade-off in coronagraph design. Reducing the size of the mask could allow more light from the planet to pass through, 
but it also risks admitting more starlight, which could wash out the planet's signal. To address this limitation, the researchers explored potential modifications to Harmony's focal plane mask. Their simulations showed that reducing the size of the mask, or offsetting it slightly, could improve the instrument's ability to study Proxima B's atmosphere. These adjustments would allow more of the planet's reflected light to reach the telescope while minimizing the interference from starlight. One of the key findings was that with these modifications, Harmony could achieve a signal-to-noise ratio sufficient for atmospheric characterization in a reasonable amount of observation time. Specifically, a minimum of 20 hours of observation would be required, although 30 hours would yield more robust data. This level of sensitivity would enable the detection of key atmospheric molecules, potentially providing clues about the planet's habitability and even the presence of life. Implementing these changes to Harmony's design is technically feasible, given the current stage of development. However, it would require a careful balance between optimizing the instrument for exoplanet studies and preserving its capabilities for other scientific objectives. Harmony is a versatile instrument, designed to study a wide range of astronomical phenomena, from star formation to distant galaxies. Modifying the focal plane mask specifically for Proxima b could impact its performance in other areas. Moreover, the study of Proxima b is just one aspect of a broader effort to characterize potentially habitable exoplanets. Other instruments, both ground-based and space-based, will play complementary roles. For example, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, excels in detecting infrared signatures, while upcoming missions like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the European Space Agency's Aerial Mission will focus on exoplanet atmospheres. Together, these observatories will provide a more comprehensive picture of distant worlds. So, why all this effort? Why are scientists so eager to study Proxima b and other exoplanets? The answer lies in humanity's eternal quest to answer one of the biggest questions of all time. Are we alone in the universe? Proxima b is especially intriguing because it orbits a red dwarf star. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the universe, and many of them host planets in their habitable zones. If life can exist on Proxima b, it raises the possibility that life could be common across the galaxy. But Proxima b also has its challenges. For one, its red dwarf star emits powerful solar flares that could strip away a planet's atmosphere, making it inhospitable to life. Studying these dynamics is crucial to understanding whether Proxima b is truly habitable or if it's a barren rock in a cosmic void. Let's dream big for a moment. What would it take to send a spacecraft to Proxima b? Breakthrough Starshot, an initiative led by scientists and engineers, has proposed using tiny, lightweight spacecraft equipped with solar sails. These sails would be propelled by powerful lasers on Earth, accelerating the spacecraft to a significant fraction of the speed of light. In theory, such a mission could reach Proxima Centauri in just 20 to 30 years. Meanwhile, researchers are exploring concepts like nuclear fusion propulsion, antimatter engines, and even theoretical warp drives. While these technologies are still in their infancy, or purely theoretical, they represent the kind of innovation needed to make interstellar travel a reality. One thing is clear, tackling the challenges of interstellar exploration will require global collaboration. NASA, the European Space Agency, private companies like SpaceX, and even independent research initiatives must work together to pool resources, share knowledge, and accelerate progress. Artificial intelligence also plays a crucial role, from optimizing spacecraft trajectories to analyzing data from exoplanets. AI is helping scientists push the boundaries of what's possible. Who knows? The first signs of alien life might be discovered not by a human, but by an AI algorithm scanning data from a distant star system. But why should we care about Proxima b, or any exoplanet for that matter? Proxima Centauri b's significance extends beyond its proximity to Earth. As the nearest exoplanet in the habitable zone, it is a prime candidate for future exploration. If humanity were to develop interstellar probes capable of traveling to other star systems, Proxima b would likely be one of the first destinations. Understanding its atmosphere and potential habitability is a crucial step in preparing for such missions. The possibility of detecting life on Proxima b, even microbial life, 
would have profound implications. It would suggest that life is not unique to Earth and may be common in the universe. This discovery would also raise new questions about the origins of life and the conditions necessary for its development. The study by Vaughn et al. highlights the importance of flexibility in instrument design. As our understanding of exoplanets evolves, so too must our tools for studying them. The proposed modifications to Harmony represent a relatively small adjustment with potentially significant scientific benefits. They underscore the need for collaboration between astronomers, engineers, and instrument designers to maximize the scientific return on investment in facilities like the ELT. Looking ahead, the field of exoplanet research is poised for rapid advancement. The next decade will see the deployment of new telescopes and instruments that will push the boundaries of what we can observe. From detecting biosignatures to mapping planetary surfaces, the search for life beyond Earth is entering an exciting new phase. By comparing Earth to other planets, we can learn about the conditions that make life possible and the factors that threaten it. Moreover, the search for life beyond Earth has a profound impact on humanity's perspective. It reminds us that we're a part of a vast, interconnected universe. It challenges us to think beyond our borders, our differences, and our immediate concerns. So, is a journey to Proxima B on NASA's agenda? Not yet, but the dream is alive. With advancements in telescope technology, innovative propulsion systems, and a global commitment to exploration, the day may come when humanity reaches out to touch the stars. Until then, Proxima B remains a symbol of what's possible, a reminder that the universe is vast, mysterious, and filled with opportunities to discover. Thank you for joining us on this journey through space and science. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Together, let's keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos.